Hi everyone, welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. So I am so excited. Look what came in the mail today. Yay! It's like early Christmas for me. I get to try new paints. And this is completely different than the Artist Loft and the uh, paint pouring and uh, this is high flow. Um, and the reason I decided to go ahead and make this little investment was because it's super pigmented um, paints and they're thin they're made for a thin consistency but they're really highly so you can you can um, mix them with pouring mediums and water and they're not going to get diluted so you can blow them around with your mouth or a straw or a blow dryer you can just tilt around in a you know in a way that way and get a completely different art effect um, doing all those different types of things I just mentioned it's um so anyway i you know when i look at these at michael's they are three times the price because michael's raises the prices and then they give you sales well there's never sales on liquitex and golden products okay so i got really interested in it and i went on amazon and i compared directly and uh sure enough it was more affordable on Amazon. So I'm gonna tell you exactly just really quick because I know this can determine whether or not you guys will want to work or try anything like this if you are thinking about doing it. I got all two for 10 colors. Now there's white and black and uh, there's a yellow. I'm not gonna go through all the distinct colors like a um, quinacridone nickel. So that's like a brown orange, a magenta, a blue, uh, two blues, phthalo blue, and the ultramarine blue, and then the phthalo green, a gold or burnt sienna, I thought I saw gold, carbon black and white, okay? Now I went ahead and I bought more black and white, which you don't have to do that to get started, okay? So you don't even need that. To do what I'm doing, this is all you're gonna need. Okay, and if you only decide to use three colors, um, then you just need this much. Now, use very little bit of each of these, and then you add water. And I'm going to show you guys how I mix it. I'm going to do my very first painting in front of you guys. But, okay, the cost, really quickly. For this 10-pack, it was $40 through Amazon. Okay, so, eh. But, if you see how little you use then you'll understand how far this is gonna get me. This is every color, and if I wanna lighten it, I can, or darken it, I can too. I can mix them and create other colors. So I think this is just a really good jump off point to have 10 different colors. If you wanted 10 different colors in Artist Loft, um, then you're looking at $3 a tube times 10, that's $30 right there. Because you need a lot more of it to make your cup of paint. So you use so little of this. Now I know these are little bottles. I think they're, yeah, they're one ounce bottles. But again, I'm gonna go through the measuring with you guys and um, you're gonna see how little you very you, you need. Unless you're doing a great big, huge canvas, um, you may need more, okay? But a little goes a long way with this stuff. Okay, so this size GAC, 16 ounces, GAC 800 was $20 and then this, was uh, $8.73, okay? So look at Amazon, shop around. Don't just go to Michael's. And I also wanted to say hi to a sponsor that um, sent me something through PayPal, a sponsor, Linda Lawrence. Thank you, Linda Lawrence, for helping out. Every little bit counts and I appreciate it from the heart. So, okay.
Okay, hi everyone. So it's been five minutes and I mean, I can't tell if it's changed. It looks pretty much the same to me right now. There is, however, a couple of little bare spots, tiny little spots where I'm concerned uh, that it's too thin, like maybe I didn't have enough paint on the canvas and I blew it off, so it's too thin on the canvas. But I'm not gonna really know until it's dry. Um, and it's only a couple of spots right now. So I'm gonna come back in an hour and I'm gonna see what happens and, and what it looks like. Okay, hi everyone. So here it is. There's a lot of mosquitoes flying around in the garage here. So I've gotta move this thing because I'm scared to death because it's so moving and high flow. It's almost like water on top of the canvas. Um, all in all, I'm really pleased with it. Having some issues with some spots opening up. Do you see those two? Um, and I don't know what that's from. There's another one. Let me get it to focus. Hello. And um, another couple little spots opening up into the canvas. But I don't know if it, the big picture, that's going to matter a whole lot because if I like this enough, I am going to resin it. So anyway, we're just going to see how it looks when it's dry. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, hi everyone. Here it is. It's all dry. And can I just show you that shine? Now, I didn't put any varnish or anything on this thing. And it dried really flat and really smooth and shiny. Now, I'm not I used the GAC 800 a couple drops and the pouring medium from Liquitex and although that is a little pricey I wanted to see what it would do so here it is all done all in all for my first try um, I think it looks pretty good the black definitely dominates it but it's really cool so I did have a little problem with that spot right there. I don't know why uh, it's almost like a silicone got on it or something. But anyway, I'm happy with it. Here it is dry. Sorry for all the glare. It's sunny here in Florida. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to do different mediums with the high flow because the golden, uh, or I'm sorry, the Liquitex pouring medium is kind of expensive. So I'm going to be trying different things, different paints, and to get the high flow. I do think I used too much water on this. So I'm just saying next time I'm going to go a little easier on the water. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy pouring!